The, the game can't we carry out for three main reasons. One is to look at trends, one is to look at population sizes, and one is to look at distribution. And the most important component is the estimate of the population sizes. And what we're seeing is that over the last 12, 15 years, we started with very, very low populations of all wildlife here. And over the years, with good management and protection and some reintroductions, um, wildlife numbers have built up. Uh, and they've built up to the level where they're now reached carrying capacity for many species, and they fluctuate around that high level of carrying capacity based on rainfall and also on movement. One of the other very important things about wildlife in arid and, and very dry environments is that they need to be able to move. Because if they can't move, they, they run out of food, they run out of water. So what we've been doing here is taking our internal fences down, and where we've got friendly neighbours taking our external fences down as well, so the wildlife in dry years can move off our property onto other properties, and then maybe back in good years when it rains here, and so we've become part of a much bigger system. So at the moment you'll see that the results of this game count here this year show that certain species have increased. A mountain zebra, for example, we've now got maybe 450 to 500 mountain zebra, and they move out of the Fish River, <coughs> River Canyon towards the eastern side, um, as we have, we, it's, it's slightly wetter here than it is on the west of the Fish River Canyon. Um, another response, a different response that we've seen from the springbok. The springbok move off the plains when it gets very dry into the hills, into the mountains and, and, and rocky areas where they can find little forbs and herbs and little succulents and so on. And so we've seen a big movement of, of springbok out of the plains up into the mountains in little small pockets and small groups. Other species like kudu have stayed very much the same, but we would expect them to start moving east as well. If we don't get any winter rain, they will start moving in an easterly direction and out of here.